Hello, everyone. Hi, and thanks for coming in early for our weekly staff meeting. This won't take long. I brought bagels and coffee for those of you who didn't eat breakfast yet. Those look like the same bagels from last Friday. Knowing her, they probably are. Shh. Oh. Today I wanted to talk to you about sexual harassment in the workplace. It has come to my attention that there have been a number of sexual harassment violations happening here at Snap, Crackle, Pop, and Associates, and I feel it's my duty as your employer and therefore your role model to offer a refresher course on what is and is not appropriate behavior at the office. Are you laughing, Gerald? Laughing? Me? No. It's my allergies. My boyfriend brought a cat home last month and I'm a... Uh, uh, He's allergic. Sexual harassment is no laughing matter. Now, if you'd all please open the handout, you'll see the legal definition of sexual harassment as presented by the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Who would like to read it aloud? I'll take a stab at it. Oh, good idea, Mark. What a great idea. Why don't you take a stab at it? If anybody can use this information, it's you. <clears throat> sexual harassment is a form of sex discrimination that violates Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Or should I say, 1964. <laughs> <laughs> Not appropriate, Mark. Keep reading. God, it's like talking to a gaggle of sixth graders. Oh, relax, Rube. Don't call me Rube. Go. Sexual harassment is unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature that tends to create hostile or offensive work environments. Very good. Who wants to take over for him? Connie? Oh. Uh, what? Would you please take over from where Mark left off? Oh, uh, sure. Sexual harassment is usually divided into two main categories, quid pro quo and hostile environment. Quid pro quo is the more overt form and refers to an individual in a position of power demanding sexual favors or acts in return for action or inaction, such as a promotion. A hostile environment is the more common type of sexual harassment. This exists when an employee is made to feel uncomfortable and suffers emotional and or mental strain due to frequent exposure to offensive sexual references or behavior. Now, let's go over some examples of sexual harassment. 1. Making or posting sexual Sexually demeaning or offensive pictures, cartoons, or other materials in the workplace. Like that picture you posted of yourself on the break room fridge, Gerald. Oh, wait, you mean my Weight Watchers photos? Yes, those were the offending images. Oh, gee, I didn't mean to offend anyone. I just wanted to show the progress I've made. I've lost 30 pounds since April. I think that's great, Gerald. Really, I do. It was not appropriate. Two, sexual pranks or repeated sexual teasing, jokes, or innuendo, in person or over email. I'm talking to you, Wanda. Me? Yes, you. Every Wednesday you sign your emails, Happy Hump Day. Oh, Ruby, that's not sexual. That just means... Happy Hump Day, Wanda. Happy Hump Day. Day. Well, when you say it like that. Three, giving gifts or leaving objects that are sexually suggestive. For example, Connie, that neck massager you keep in your cubicle. Oh, yeah? What about it? Some people might interpret that as inappropriate. Wouldn't you say? But it's for my neck. Uh-huh. I'm in a cubicle all day surrounded by people. Right. Four, repeatedly asking a person to socialize during off-duty hours when that person has said no or has indicated he or she is not entering. Arrested. Mark! Oh, come on, Rube. You know I'm just getting around. For the last time, Mark, don't call me Rube! Uh, Ruby. What is it, Wanda? Correct me if I'm mistaken, but are you insinuating that everyone who works here at Snap, Brackle, Pop, and Associates is guilty of sexual harassment? I don't know, Wanda. I don't know. Is that what I'm insinuating? You tell me. Are you guilty of sexual harassment? Who in here is guilty of sexual harassment? Please, please tell me. You tell me. What? Are you laughing, Jerry? No, I'm not laughing, no. Well, then if nobody has anything left to say, I guess this meeting is adjourned. Thanks for coming in early. Our next staff meeting will be the same time next week. Have a nice day, perverts. And don't forget to drop a few bucks in the money jar to help cover the cost of the bagels. Bagel.